So we're here in the Lisa Viejo. We're going to do a quick little tile roof leak detection and a repair for this customer. He had a leak in his loft. His loft area in this uh, Lisa Viejo home is right over, basically right over this area right down here. There's a window. There's a two foot over here. Measure nine feet back. That's where it's falling into the room. So we're going to take up an area of the tile. I'm going to show you. It's pretty easy to get these tiles out. Make some safe stacks on the side here. Safely stack on the side. We're going to cut out all the roofing felt paper. And I bet you we'll find the leak. Well, either right here. Probably pouring, pulling off the felt right about here. It's pretty typical. These roofs. It's just a piece of Viejo. just nothing but tile roofs everywhere you look. A really beautiful day today. 94 degrees. Nice little breeze. Beautiful Southern California day, actually. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this side up. I'm sure you have to get everything all safely stacked aside, cut out the damaged felt paper, check and repair the deck as needed, find the leak, circle the leak, find all the problems, find the leak source, make sure we do the leak detection, make sure it's fixed, re refelt the area, put it all back together, warranted, and we're out of here. We've got, uh, we got two o'clock in the afternoon, a little bit before. We do a lot of these, so we get these things done pretty darn quick. I'm show you how it comes out. So we're going to show you the easy step here. Cutting out the plywood. Cutting out the felt paper, excuse me, we're not cutting out the plywood. You can see it's pretty easy. I don't know why people go over this. It just, if you know what you're doing, it doesn't take too long. Fold it up. We have little recyclable bags. It goes right into the trash bag. It's cleaned up. We got one more to take out. And you can see there's the leak start. Here's his roof leak. Fold up the bottom first. Bottom first. That way you don't get dust all over the place. And fold the left side, the right side, and fold it in the middle. And you're totally good. That's how you cut out and fold felt paper. Why the other roofers don't want to do it, I have no idea. It doesn't take that long. But now you can see, we got this leak. It started right up here. A little problem in the felt paper. It goes all the way down. And then right here is where it was falling into his house. Right there, big, big uh, bump in the decking. That was going right in the house. So what we got to do is, uh, let's, let's uh, just sweep it up, blow it up. Put it back and go. Put it back. That's what we have to do. Whenever your roofer does repair, you want to make sure that's nice, clean, square, rectangle. The shapes are good. It's very, very important. You don't want a weird looking repair because you, you, you want to make sure you take it out even. That way you know exactly where it was repaired. The roofer take the time to do it right. Cut a couple of the nails. These ridge boards sometimes they'll take nails and they'll nail them in right at the bottom corner. You just cut them off. That way you can get the felt paper all the way up here. You want to go even further, an extra mile, which you probably don't need to do. You can take this off and go up and over the top. I mean, you really don't need to. Unless this is bad and then you got to replace it. So here's what you should do just to make sure your roofer got the area. You should always have him just circle the roof leak so he can show you what it is. Find it and circle it. Real simple. There you go. As you can see all the water damage is confined in this area. On the outside of it, nothing but clean plywood, which means you have it confined. It started right here, fell into his house right there, circled all the way around it. That's how you know they actually did the leak detection and found the leak. Otherwise, if they just cover up an area, how do you know if they found the roof leak? You're just never going to know. So that's a, another tip for you. Make sure your roofer circles the leak. Okay, so we got it. Now it's felted. What do we got here? Let's see. You can do sometimes these things really, really quick. I got to tell you that the, this one right here is like the easiest one that you can do. It's a field leak. There's no pipes. There's no valley. There's no flashing. There's no skylight. There's no chimney. There's no nothing. It's clean. 
is the easiest one that you can possibly do. That's why it goes so fast. Some of these leaks that you have to tear up, maybe an area just twice as big as this, it can easily take you all day, depending on uh, how much waterproofing you have to do. The waterproofing on this is real basic. So this is a, a real easy one to show you that, you know, it can go quick, but yeah, not even one out of 10 goes as fast. And plus we're really experienced crew, so that makes like a huge difference. So I'm going to go down, talk to the owner, tell him what's up, and uh, show him what we got.